Happy Earth Day, everyone. I'm just going to show you a cool way to look at our planet using Google and a lot of other satellite providers' contributions using Google Earth. So even on a web browser, you can just go to earth.google.com and then it'll ask you to launch Google Earth. And once you do that, it'll go to earth.google.com slash web. Yeah, you know, once you go there, um, I'm right now looking at Decker's Creek in West Virginia, Morgantown, West Virginia. And you can go to the search bar here in the left corner and type in, like I've typed here, Decker's Creek, Morgantown, West Virginia. It'll take you there. Of course, if you want to go somewhere else from here, close enough you can just type that it'll bring up a suggestion and then the map will move on its own and take you to Pittsburgh now let's say you want to go even farther away to see actually the globe in process let me pick a farther place this would be a city in India, northeastern India, but it's on the banks of a mighty river, Brahmaputra, which is why I'm picking Guwahati, Assam, or you can pick Tezpur, which is also close to the river. Let's go. It zooms back and then rotates the globe and then zooms in right to Guwahati. Now this is a fairly large city so the city center is here. This is the river and you can you know zoom back a little here go upstream on the river see how wide this river is. Now you look at the scales this actually shows a scale but you can always pause it look at the scale you can switch to a 3d orientation or a 2d orientation here as you need and then if you go from here somewhere else you know you can pick um, let's see I just picked up something I've heard in a couple of Bond movies I don't really you know know much about this place Severnaya it's a little island somewhere in Russia whoa it's a cold place okay so we are there and then I guess from there we can always go to Antarctica all right that's not a good so we'll just do Antarctica region at this point Antarctica is so big that it's not going to zoom in anywhere unfortunately and I don't remember anything off the top of my head so I'm going to skip that and then go to the Congo River Basin let's see if this gives me a good zoomed in central location for the river it's fair enough but not As close I had hoped but here we go I'm assuming the river forms the boundary between two countries which is why it's around here so there you have it and I don't know what this lake is I'm gonna look this up later on but Google Earth is a lot of fun